so it is my first night from surgery. Um, I'm not in too much pain. It's mostly just uncomfortable. I'm sporting this super fancy eye patch. <laughs> Pirate Fashion 2018. All the fad. They made me take out my jewelry for the operation, and it was only out for maybe like three hours, and I had to re, like, size up my septum and my industrial. So, if I heal that fast, this should be a piece of cake. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> so I just wanted to do an update video about my eye. It's been about two months since I had the surgery. So in case I didn't cover it, I went in for surgery a couple of months ago. They did like an eye eyelid lift, so basically like a facelift. They cut it right in the middle, took a piece out, sewed it back together so that way it was more lifted. I didn't film right after because it was a big self-conscious thing. I had like a black eye for a little while and I was just very self-conscious about it. And then even as it started to heal, I was still extremely self-conscious about it. I still am. I actually have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and it's for a fitting for my new eye. I healed up really well. Overall, the surgery wasn't bad. I was awake for it. I had local anesthesia. anesthesia. I came home from surgery the same day. Since I was under local and I was awake for the whole thing, to me, it seemed like the surgery lasted 15 minutes tops. And it actually lasted over an hour, I suppose. Um, that's what everyone told me. So my eyelid before was really droopy. Now it's like really wide open. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. It still feels a little bit numb. There is the scar. It's not bad. It didn't go all the way across. It was just right here in the middle. It's a little wide open. Um, movement is still whatever, but. So it looks, it looks okay. But yeah, I'm super excited. Tomorrow I will have my blue eye and hopefully I like it better. Still a huge self-conscious issue. Right, well, I'll update you with my next eye thing. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a update video on my eye and how it looks, how it feels, how I feel. So I've had my prosthetic for for three months now and I recently just went back in and he adjusted it some more and it's looking a lot better. I feel a lot more comfortable with it. Anyway, this is it. My main problem with it now is that I can't do my makeup evenly. Things were going good. Confidence wise, I'm still not uh, comfortable in front of a video camera. I'm still not extremely comfortable in front of a camera unless I'm the one taking the picture because then I can line it up. But talking to people face to face in person, it still makes me really uncomfortable at certain times. Most of the time I forget about it, but then I notice like if they're making eye contact or something like that, I'm like, oh no, they're looking at me. The only kind of trigger, I guess I would call it, that I've had is that there was this woman at my work and I was talking to her and she would not stop staring. Like she kind of like went out of her way to stare at me and it made me very, very conscious of it. But other than that, Nobody's really talked about it. I haven't been asked anything or anything like that. Everybody like on my Instagram and stuff have been super supportive. They don't really know what's going on though. I am terrified to cut my hair. Terrified. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> it is actually really hard trying to be comfortable with this. I'm trying. Baby steps. Baby steps is all I can do. So yeah, that's, that's most of the main video. This is just kind of the update journey through the surgery and everything. And it's, it's, not that bad. It's not that bad. But yeah, I will update soon, and in the meantime, I will catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Really. <laughs>